Welcome to Country Dancer. On the second week of February, 2016. This morning when we got up, it was minus 13 degrees. It's still pretty close to that outside right now. Although it's minus, or it's up to 40 degrees here in the cockpit. Now, in the cock cockpit, the whole top sides, every place on the deck, we have covered the entire deck with 10 inches of fiberglass bats. I was looking forward down the, the uh, tunnel of our shrink wrap at the 10 inches of insulation covering the deck, the cockpit seats, there's foam down under our feet, foam down underneath that wood floor, fiberglass back, down in the settees we fill them with foam, made a little plywood door so we can kind of keep the weather out. Let's walk around outside and see what's going on. So, there's a gangplank. We've had to move the boat away from the dock to be able to have enough water under the keel to float. And there's the ice building up around the protrusions of the boat as well. Sitting in here. The uh, ice builds up layer by layer by layer as the water splashes up against anything that protrudes. See this ice build up around the bumper and the sea smoke coming up off the water. Not quite as obvious right now as it was a few minutes ago, but you can still see the steam coming off the water. Spilled up along the side of the hull. The problem has been that when it gets this cold, it spills up pretty quickly. And the ice alongside the hull is actually attaching us to the dock, which I'll show you on the other side in just a second here. So, as the water bubbles up from that bubbler down underneath it splashes up onto the lines and every splash freezes in place so it slowly but surely builds up these pancakes of ice so what we're going to do we're going to go around the other side so you can see a little bit. Uh, Duluth in a normal winter gets 81 inches of snow. This year we've had probably uh, 30 inches maybe, but no more than 18 inches at a time. El Nino keeps thawing it off as fast as it falls. So again, we can see pretty easily the sea smoke blowing across the water. And, um, Everything is growing ice out away from the pilings and alongside the hull. You can see that the ice there is maybe two inches thick growing off of the foam along the side of the hull. I'll have to come out and break that off. It's just too thick and I can't break it off at all. Every more and more welded back to the dock. I can never get enough of these big pancakes of ice that grow right off of a line sticking down to the water. Or back here, this is just a strap that's going under the boat to hold the shrink wrap and the foam in place. And the ice builds out and builds out and builds out of those little tiny protrusions. So we have had a problem with the tape not sticking. 
So I've had to retape a lot of places. And there's our heat exchanger with its icicles as it pulls the moisture and humidity out of the air down below. Puts it out here. This is our neighbor, the L.L. Smith. Spirit Lake Marina, Duluth, Minnesota, February 2016.